Now, usually when I talk about the impact of, of our advocacy work, I usually talk about you know, the creation of our kids first, and the, the, uh, the expansion of quality pre-K. Uh, but y'all have heard those stories many times over, so I thought I'd talk about something a little bit different today, talk about education funding issue. Uh, back in 2010, before the uh, 2011 uh, legislative session, uh, we put out a report on the large unspent balances that, that many districts were accumulating in their uh, state poverty funds uh, uh, for education for high students, uh, known as uh, NSLA funds. And uh, uh, basically, that they were committed to big balances, also meaning that we're not spending the money on things that we know uh, really work at a research base in terms of closing the achievement gap for low income and at risk kids, things like you know, quality pre K, quality after school and summer programs, school based health programs. Um, uh, that report, along, uh, probably more importantly, and a lot of, the, a lot of really good advocacy work. Uh, not just by advocates, but by the, uh, 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 the OTL coalition of the Opportunity to Learn coalition, which the panel helps staff, um, an RCA, and other groups around the table, uh, led to some legislation during the 2011 session to basically place uh, big limits on the ability of the school districts uh, to, to continue carrying over funding. And uh, now that, uh, those limits are going to take a couple of years to really have some impact. Unfortunately, uh, we were not able to get uh, 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 provisions in the law to uh, 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 more, uh, more carefully target how they spend the money. Uh, but even then, uh, that report, uh, along with the advocacy work, has really changed uh, the, uh, the, whole, the whole nature of the debate about NSLA funding. The uh, Department of Education made greater oversight about low-performing schools are spending their NSLA funding under the recent waiver to the feds. Uh, just in terms of generally uh, you know, the impact of organizing uh, the advocacy work. Uh, just to say how important it is now with permanent on the horizon, where, where um, inevitably you're going to lose one of your legislative champions in a few years. And so you're going to lose one of your most important champions for kids. And it's only because of groups like us around this table uh, that we still have um, a big priority around low income uh, issues. Uh, you know, because I think there's a, you know, when we put out a report, the policymakers listen, the media covers it. Uh, when one of our organizations um, announces um, a big campaign around an issue, I mean, you can see the eyes on some of these policymakers and state agency officials all the world are doing a big campaign around something. And so, you know, so it does matter. And uh, I, mean, I would just say that without the work that organizations around this table are doing, uh, uh, that we could uh, really just have a political situation that we don't want to be in. I think it's going to be up to groups like us around this table to, to, to really make sure that vulnerable populations are. Uh, but their, uh, their interests uh, are uh, 